everybody, welcome to Bunky's Workshop. I am Bunky, and as you see, I have something that came in the mail uh, from eBay. Yes, I was shopping on eBay, came across this, put an offer in, and he accepted it. And here it is. So we are gonna do the unboxing together. And I don't think it's nothing special special, but uh, I just want to know what these were like and the quality. So I figured, you know, for the price, give it a try. So let's see if I can get this thing open. I don't know how actually it is put in here, to be honest with you. Kind of looks like it opens from the side, but no. <laughs> I don't see any flaps or nothing, so it must be done from the end. Let's try that first. And we got styrofoam. Let's see what we've got here. Here rattling. I don't know if I like the sound of rattling. So there you go. Aluminium or aluminum. Num, 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 num. So I wonder why he left that wide open when he could have. Let's see. Maybe because. Oh, there we go. It's a little tricky, but it does work. Okay. That's one part. Here's the main part. We're gonna put that aside. What we got? Something from eBay, what we've got from eBay. It looks like a printed out instruction booklet. I hurt my finger, so now I'm trying to get things done with minus a finger. My cat just came off my finger. Owie. Okay. So we have a power head. So this will just give, give it away. But there you go, Ricard. It's got some weight to it. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. The bristles are really nice. So that's good, rubber wheels on the front and back. So you can see nice wheel here. This one needs a little bit of help. But uh, we can fix that. But there you go. So we got that. So I'm assuming that this goes right in it. There we go, nice. So we'll put that aside. What else we got in here? 
We got the hose. Oh man. So the tape stuck to the handle, messed up the handle. Let's see if that will uh, come off. Yeah, it's going to take me some of that uh, goo gone or whatever. But uh, it's your basic crush proof uh, hose. Got your one end hooks to the canister with the electrical hookup. Let's see, you got your on and off switch for the power head. Does not, yeah it does, so it does articulate, it rotates. Does this end? This end does not. That's okay. Like I said, this is a test vacuum. I've always wanted to know what this vacuum was all about. That's why I got it. And an empty box. So I guess. Okay, so let's put that aside. Let's get to the main unit. Same problem, the uh, tape stuck to the unit, but there you go. Zazz. I like the color of it. I guess that's why I'm attracted to it with the silver wheels. So it's got the silver plastic wheels with the rubber coating, both sides. Of course, you got the one here in the middle with rubber, a docking place. So you can stand this up. If it'll, how does that go? I guess not with that, it don't, does it? Yes, it does. So it does dock. That's a good thing. This is nice. It has a, a handle that pops up so you can carry it and it goes away. That's nice. Another docking place in the back. That's nice. Of course, your cord rewind. Let's see if that works nicely. Yes. So it does have the marking here on the uh, wire to where to stop. So that's nice, it does wind back in nicely. You have your uh, on off switch, cord rewind, and here is the dial for the power for your suction, minimum and maximum. That's good. Now let's check the inside. So at least it does have a HEPA filter or bag in there. So it looks like it's been used a little bit. We do have a filter that is pretty nasty. I can clean that. 
other than that, inside, there's a little dust. It does have a HEPA filter. But as you can see, that's dirty. goes in there like that the HEPA filter this slides in like that bag goes in like that I guess yep that's nice now let's plug it in and see if it works right or is it gonna blow up on us All right, kids, here we go. So that's on minimum. Medium. Maximum. Well, not bad. Let's give it a run. Let me put this crap away. And what I'll do is I will tell you how much I paid for this. And then you can chime in in the comment section below and let me know, was this a deal? Did I get ripped off? So let's see if we can plug this in. How does that go? There we go. It doesn't even have a smell. So let's now hook up the power head. See what we have with the baby power head. Nice click. That is a bit tall for me. Okay. you know we're going to have to do a quick test so let me go get myself some rice and stuff to throw down and I'll be right back in a second okay here we go I have some rice I'm going to put down And I'm going to 
gonna put down some ground coffee. That way you can have a little bit of something dark to look at. Yeah, that shows up on the uh, monitor. Okay, so we have rice and ground coffee. And we're gonna give that a try. So let me unplug this from here. We're going to plug it in over here, out of the way. Okay. Let's go for a run right down the middle and see what happens. And it's going to be on max. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen pieces of rice left behind. That looks like I might have knocked you out of whack there a little bit. Turn it, there you go. I don't see any coffee, but what I did notice that the the rice was kind of like bouncing back inside the path. So as it was, I don't know if you could see it, but it looked like as the brush was rolling. For some reason, some of these uh, pieces of rice were jumping back in. It was kind of weird, but not bad. All in all, good job. Now let's suck up this mess. I really do like this color. Dog toys everywhere.
okay, there you have it. You know, I kind of like this. Um, this does have a place here on the uh, wand to hold some tools, but it did not come with any tools. And it did, as you can see on the handle, the tape stuck and messed up the handle. So I can fix that. I've never heard a power head sound that kind of whiny, but it does run and does a very good job on this carpet. But again, I did not receive any additional tools with this. Just the vacuum and for what it is. It was very quiet and I noticed that uh, with the rice, when it go under the sides, this flat side, the left and right, the rice would get under there and then they would pop out. So that's why they were moving. So uh, like spring loaded. But um, it glides across the carpet very nicely. I must say this handle, I really do like this handle. It has this little part here so that when you grab it, it's really nice. It's a very nice, uh, well-designed handle. I like that. Um, I can clean this up very nicely. I could probably get myself some tools for it and uh, be very happy with it. This is the Ricar Bizazz. And, you know, I don't think I even... There we go. I didn't even read the label to you. Let's see what the label has to tell us. Ricar, model number, Z as in zebra, A as in apple, Z as in zebra, Z as in zebra, 0. 0.6. 120 volts, 60 hertz, 11 amps, with power nozzle, made in China. Do not use on wet surfaces. Well, of course. Does have some weight to it. Yeah, that tape, I, I can get the tape off. But, um, I really do like that color. That is nice. But, see, how can I do that for you? How's that? There you go. The Ricard Pizzazz. And I love this color. Was this like a teal or whatever it is? I can get some more bags. I can clean the one filter, replace the um, HEPA filter. And so I can find myself some tools, that would be nice. And uh, move on from there. What do you think? So, I think, um, let me get my phone, because I, I want to be exact on this. on what I paid, and you guys can tell me whether did I get a deal or did I get ripped off. So, let me go into my eBay account. So, I paid $70 for this. Yep, $70.23 is what I paid for this vacuum. So, down below in the comments section, if you would, let me know, was this a good deal or not? Uh, what you see is what I got the wand, the power head, the vacuum, the hose, and a used vacuum and dirty <laughs> uh, filter inside. All in all, I do like the vacuum. Uh, I've always wanted to know what one of these was like. I believe on performance reviews on his channel, I think he reviewed one of these and talked about it. Um, I think that's where I saw it first, I'm not sure. But uh, anyways, here it is. I hope you enjoyed this video as well as I made. <laughs> 
as well as I did making it. Um, think about subscribing to my channel. Maybe give me a thumbs up. And of course, go down there and ring that bell so each and every time I upload a video, you'll be notified, okay? I hope everybody is out there is well and having some good time. Summer's coming to an end and we'll have to do some pumpkins for Halloween, okay? And by the way, Gidget is now going to be part of my community. Right, Gidget? Good girl. All right, talk to you soon. Have a good day.